Hey fuckers, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, and today I want to promote a good friend of mine, James, has got a website, sorry, he's got a YouTube channel, Just My Opinion UK, and he's a really cool guy, I love him to death, he sent me a hundred US dollars, so fuckers, I want you to take a look at this, I'm going to add it on now, I'm going to add this video on, take a look at the video, and then go over to James's uh, channel, and uh, we want traffic, we want to send him traffic, so come on fuckers, he's a really good guy, really cool guy, give him some encouragement, he's new to the YouTube business, James, just my opinion, just my opinion, UK, take a look fuckers. and welcome to my video this is just my opinion UK uh, and today I'm doing a review for a fan uh, this is actually my first review for somebody else uh, this is for John Nash uh, John contacted me last night and he asked me if I'd give my opinion on a watch for him and also alternatives to this watch he his requirements are he was wanting a Amiga watch <coughs> preferably and he was looking for something that is a bit vintage, and he was asking my opinion. Now, the watch that he put forward to me is the Amiga Seamaster 300, which is the one you can see on the screen here. This is on the Amiga website. So this is the watch that he's asked my opinion on. Now, I personally love this watch. I think it's a really, really cool watch. Obviously, made. V I think this watch dates back to about the 60s, the original version. Um, Daniel Craig famously wore this in the most recent Bond film, uh, that is the Spectre film. He wore this, in fact I think, I think I can get it, because he wore it on a NATO strap. Yeah, this. so this here's the Bond one. So you can see it's got the lollipop second hand, uh, it's basically the, the same watch, uh, it's just on a NATO strap and this one comes in a bit of a fancy, fancy kit form. But the one that John is wanting me to look at is this one on the steel strap. And you can see here the difference between the vintage and this is the up-to-date version. So this is the 1960s version. That is the new version. So if you, I think if you pull that across, so you can see the vintage version is there. That is the up-to-date version. So it is a very, very, very close very close to the original, um, but it's got, you know, the new version's got a lovely vintage look to it, so good choice of watch, John, um, definitely a very, very cool watch, I will see, so yeah, see, you got it here, it's a 41mm, um, now John did say he wanted it on the steel strap, not the leather, because obviously there are other options of buying this watch, but he did specifically say on a steel strap, so that is the one we shall look at. So the watch we're looking at is reference 233304121010101 and the price is 4170. Now, first thing I would say to you John, that's a lot of money. 4170, you are creeping not a million miles away, you're creeping to within sort of 900 pound away from a pre-owned submariner. So Bear that one in mind, uh, this watch will depreciate, whereas the Submariner probably won't do. Um, so bear that one in mind, obviously the Submariner is a, is, is a classic. You, you asked for my opinion and you asked for alternatives. The Submariner is definitely a alternative to this watch. But especially, you know, when this is 4170 the Submariner, brand new, is 5450 But pre-owned, you can get it for around about five grand. So if you've got £4,170, my advice to you would be, save up, you know, a little while longer and get a pre-owned sub. But you did say in your email that you were keen on Amiga. So, going back to this one then, the Amiga Seamaster 300. 
So this is the watch that you're interested in. Now, I have done a little bit of research for you and found that the same watch with Heritage watches is 3,390. Now, it's a brand new watch. If you look at my other video, uh, or one of my other videos, it shows you all about this and purchasing brand new watches cheaper than the recommended re retail price. Now, I've bought from Heritage watches before. Um, good, you know, Anthony, the guy there, is really, really good. He'll look after you. Um, 3390 is a good price for this watch. When I look on eBay and other places, you, you know, people are selling them on eBay for around about the sort of 3100 region, and that's pre-owned. This is a brand new one for 3390 So I don't think you can go wrong there. 3390 is a, is a is a good price for this watch. Um, when you look at this at 3390 it takes it quite a distance away from the Rolex Submariner. So at 3390 I would probably say, yeah, this is a this is this watch is a good buy. Um, don't bother with the Submariner when you look at this price. But if you've got £4,170, you're not afraid to spend it, then you know, save that bit more and go for the sub. It'll be a good investment. But I don't think, you know, 3390 I don't think this watch is going to drop in price. Um, you know, if you get bored of it after a year or so or you want to trade it for something else, you probably, you know, you're going to get three grand for this watch all day long, I would have thought. It's a, you know, a nice looking watch. Um, the Sapphire Crystal, automatic movement. I'm not sure actually what movement was in this watch. Um, let's see. Movement. I say it's one of the eight. It's one of the eight. The, the eight four hundred movement. So you know, really, really good movement. Uh, Sixty hour power reserve. Similar movement to what's in the Planet Ocean. Uh, the Planet Ocean's got the eight five hundred. Um, technical data. So if I say it's a three hundred meters dive watch. Uh, obviously, it will be the rotating bezel. Uh, features anti magnetic. Chronometer, liquid metal, screw down crown, transparent case back. Oh, so it's got it's got the transparent. So it's got the um, got the display back, which is cool. Um, so yeah, so I mean, re you know, really, really cool watch. I like that. I think that's a good choice, John. Um, nice looking, nice looking watch. Nice vintage look to it. Um, you know, it's definitely got a period feel. By the look of it, I, I've got to say, I think it does look better on a NATO. I'm not so keen. I did have a look at a video on it for you, and the, I see these are brushed. Uh, sorry, the outer is brushed, and this is polish. I don't think this watch suits the strap it's on. Um, I think, me personally, well, it's quite good in blue actually, but obviously that's platinum, so that'd be a fortune. Um, I think this watch looks quite good on, when we get there. Yeah, definitely. It looks good on the NATO. That to me works. This one here, you know, get this. Me personally, I'd be buying it on the leather on the leather strap, so it's cheaper, and I'd be putting a NATO on it. Um, that would be my personal opinion. Is is, is put it on a NATO? It, it looks looks cool on a NATO strap. It, it looks good on the leather, but I do think this leather's maybe a bit pale for the watch. Um, but the NATO definitely works with this. A period watch like that. I think the NATO really, really works on it. So, yeah, so like I said, I've had a look at it on their fee as well, and uh, 3390 is the best price I'm finding. Um, that's a, as a brand new purchase, that is the best price I'm finding. Pre owned about 3100, you're you going to be paying. My recommendation is at 3 1, I'd maybe spend the extra bit and get the brand new version, and maybe give Heritage Watches a call and see if they'll negotiate a bit on this. Um, so, yeah. Now, <clears throat> another question that you had was, can I suggest alternatives in the Amiga range with a vintage look? Now, straight off the bat, I've got to say, the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, that is as, as um, sort of classic Amiga as you'll find. But granted, it has the Hes it's got the Hesselite glass, so it's, it's not necessarily ideal for day-to-day -day wear. You, you can end up getting scratches. So what I've done is the one I'm going to suggest to you is this one here. Now this one is the another legend. This is the um, Amiga uh, Moonwatch. This is the the first Amiga in space. Um, so this is the Sapphire Crystal version as well. 
uh, same movement that's found in the Man on the Moon. So you can see there, this is the 1962, that's the 2012. So you can see they're very, you know, very much similar watches. Um, very, very cool watch. I do think on this strap, well, I think on the on both straps, I think it looks a cool watch. The good thing with the Speedmaster is it works on so many different it works on so many different straps. You can work this on a NATO, you can work on a Zulu, you can work it on a uh, bracelet. It just it, it works incredibly well. Um, and I've actually seen this watch in the flesh actually because I, I looked at it myself. Um, the only reason I didn't buy this watch is because I think it was a 39 mil bezel. And the rule I've always gone by is I don't go for anything below a 40. I mean, you can see, you can see there, I'm wearing a 40 today. This is my, I'm going to light over. This is my Rolex Sub. That's a 40 mil case. And that is as small as I go on my wrist. I won't go any smaller than that. So 39, if I bought that, I'd be breaking my rule. So I don't buy it. So, yeah, this one, I mean, look, I mean, this just, some of these models just look super cool. They're absolutely stunning. Um, so let's go back up to the top. Yeah, so I'm just trying to find if I can find the tech sheet for you on this one. So it's the, yeah, the first Amiga in space. Um, well, pain in the ass, it won't give you, it won't give me any more. Read more. Any any Amiga though that's linked to the space missions is cool. Um, if you're looking for something that's a classic, anything to do with the Amiga in space, um, first man on the moon, I mean you know it's just 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 cool. Um, so yeah, you see here you've got the you've got the moon watch there. Um, so yeah, so this one. The one that I've been showing you, the first Amiga in space, I looked this one up for you as well. So this one with Heritage Watches again. Uh, Amiga, first man in space, chronograph. Um, it's as vintage as you're going to get for the Amigas. This is, you know, a near replica. 39.7mm, uh, so to be fair, I mean, 0.3mm off 40, so I could get this. It's it's very, very close. Um Scratch resistant sapphire crystal, so this is it's going to make this watch much more wearable than the man on the moon. And it's 2600 quid, you know. I mean, this watch 3400 if you buy it from a boutique or you know, recommended resale price 2600. To me, to me, this is a better buy than the 300. This the 300 on heritage watches 3390 3, the first amiga in space 2600 to me this one is going to hold its value better uh, you get you get the chronograph feature it's the hand wind 1861 movement in this watch which to me the hand wind feature just it makes the whole watch part of you you're having to physically manual wind it um, to me, that's a cool factor. I, I like the fact that you've got to manually wind the watch up. Um, so this is the watch that I personally would be going for. £2,600. Now, considering the email you sent me, you were looking at spending, if I remember rightly, you were looking to spend... Uh, four thousand one hundred and seventy on this watch to get a to get a vintage look Amiga. My recommendation is you can get it three thousand three hundred ninety on Heritage watches if you're really really fixed on that particular model. But as an alternative, I would go for this one at two thousand six hundred. The first Amiga in space. You're saving money. You know two thousand six hundred next to four thousand one hundred seventy. You've got enough change there to buy a pre-owned um, Amiga Speed, uh, Amiga Seamaster. You know, one of you know one of the um, one, to be honest, even one of the ceramic bezel ones, one of the newest ones. You can pick them up for sixteen, seventeen hundred quid. So you could buy this watch here and a pre-owned Amiga Seamaster cheaper than what you were going to spend on this one watch. 
Um, so that's the way I would go. I would recommend this one over this one, as my personal opinion. As the channel says, just my opinion. Uh, you asked for it, you asked for my opinion, that is my opinion. Um, buy this one, if, it's what, if, if this is what your gut says, if this is the one that floats your boat, get this one, 3,390 quid. If not, my alternative would be this one, the first Amiga in space, at 2,600. This watch is going to be 2,600 quid all day long. First Amiga in space, you know, anything that's Amiga and space is going to be worth money. £2,600, it's a safe investment. Get on the phone to Anthony at Heritage Watches um, or do it online and they'll look after you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if any of you would like any reviews doing, please drop me a line. Um, this is Just My Opinion UK. Hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000. It's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.